Hi everyone, this is a review of the new Ashland brand uh, Fall 2019 Wax Melts from Michaels. They came out with six new scents. I'm a little bit disappointed that they didn't come out with all the scents that they had in their candles because they had a couple of really nice candle scents. I think one was like a, a butterscotch and one was, I don't know, there was one that was a cotton scent that was really good. So they only came out with these six scents Possible there may be more, but I don't know. I only found these. Um, Hannah's Candle used to make the Ashland wax melts <coughs> um, up until summer of last year. So last year's fall wax melts were really not good. They're being made in Vietnam. I don't know what brand, I don't know what company is manufacturing them, but they're definitely not as good as they used to be. However, I'm kind of surprised that these threw fairly well. Uh, I think they threw better than the than last year's fall and winter scents and this year's spring and summer scents. However, I did change my throw uh, my throw scores a, a little bit. Um, so now the scores are I think I've got zero, one, two, three, three point five or 2.5, 3, 3.5, and 4 and 5. Before I used to have 2.25, 2.75, 3.25, and it was just too detailed and it was confusing for people. Plus there are a lot of variables that determine throw. So by keeping the numbers a little bit more, like not quite as detailed, like for instance, a throw of three could end up being like a 2.75 or it could be a 3.25 because of all those different variables. So I did change the, um, you know, the, the, the throw ranking, the throw scores just slightly. I eliminated some, some of the score numbers and you can go to waxmeltreviews.com, go to the about or the FAQ page to find out more details about um, the throw scores. So the first one we have, and I'm not going to open them because you can see the colors right through the package. First one is, um, and these don't have, I don't have scent notes for any of them. First one is Autumn Walk. This uh, smells like cologne with a strong soapy note and a wood, a woodsy, maybe a sandalwood note. But there's another note in there, something slightly sour that makes it smell like old cologne that's gone bad. This scent came out in 2017 and 2018. And I didn't like it then either. So that and, and the throw is um, strong, three point five out of uh, out of five. So good for a medium to a medium large room. Cinnamon spice. It's a sweet cinnamon with a smidgen of a buttery cinnamon roll note. Although it's not actually a cinnamon roll scent. It's also not a big red or a red hot cinnamon scent. It's more on the sweeter side like almost like a cinnamon candy. I'm not a fan of straight cinnamon, but this one actually smells pretty good. The throw is th like three out of five, like a medium. So it'd be good for a small to medium size room. Orchard apple. It's basically, it's not orchard apple. It's not a fresh apple scent. It's basically a cinnamon scent with just a hint of apple. It's nice. It smells like an apple cinnamon room spray. I mean, nothing really to get excited about. Medium throw, three out of five. Pumpkin donut. This is a typical generic pumpkin pie scent. It's nice. Um, it's probably the same as last year's classic pumpkin spice scent. And the throw is strong, 3.5 out of five. Pumpkin spice chai. This is um, a cinnamon, cinnamon scent with a little bit of nutmeg, like a pumpkin spice note. It's not a pumpkin pie scent though. I think I also smell apple, like like, a, like apple cider with nutmeg. And I think this is the same scent as pumpkin spice chai from 2018. Uh, the throw is medium, uh, three out of five. And last we have sandalwood and vanilla. This is actually my favorite of the bunch because it's not just a typical fall scent. It's a very nice perfumey scent with milky sandalwood and a hint of vanilla. It also has a little bit of that sour note that the Autumn Walk scent has, which gives this scent kind of an old perfume vibe. But in this case, 
it actually smells really nice. Um, the throw is three out of five, medium. If you want to read a text version of this review, just go to waxmeltreviews.com and feel free to join our Facebook group. Um, you can find the link underneath this video where we discuss all different brands and scents for store-bought and retail wax melts only. Have a great day.